This is an experiment. So that was a lighting experiment, but this whole video is also an experiment. They're all experiments. I guess this is literally thinking out loud. Thinking out loud. Thinking out loud! I'm going to think out loud for you today. So I'm staring at a little viewfinder of myself right now. I'm looking at myself talking to myself, but I'm talking, I'm actually talking to you. You. It seems like there are about 20 people that are regularly, dedicatedly watching what I'm putting out. Probably of those 20, I know half of you. That still means that there's 10 people from somewhere in the world. From India, and from Brazil, and from England, and from Poland. It's really incredible. In this internet age, 10 viewers is, is basically nothing. But think about it this way. If there were 10 people somewhere in the world who you knew for sure that they would listen to you say something, no matter what it was, as long as you kept it concise. What would you say? What would you say? Do you have something you want to say? This is a truly amazing thing. It's never been this way for the entire history of mankind. Yes, throughout human history there have been storytellers around the fire, and there have been newspaper journalists, and there have been radio broadcasters, and there have been novelists, and there have been painters, and there have been actors, but their audience has always been constrained. Constrained by time, and constrained by space. But YouTube literally transcends those boundaries. <laughs> There are people halfway across the world who are listening to me say this, and there are people halfway across the world in 10 years that will listen to me say this. <laughs> this exact thing. With all of the emotionality and the physicality, as well as the content of the idea. All of it. I guess what I'm trying to say is that it feels like 10 people who I don't know has given me this gift. This gift of saying, I'll listen to you. And there are so many other YouTubers that I've returned that gift to, that I've listened to, who I still feel incredibly grateful to because, because they've genuinely taught me something. They've had a real impact on my life, on my identity as a human being through these silly little screens. It's absurd. What's so magical about YouTube is that it gives us all the capacity to be listened to, or it gives us the capacity to listen to each other in a way that we have never been able to before. It gives the world the capacity to listen to itself. And, and yes, there are lots of other media that do this, I'm not trying to deify YouTube, but rather revel in the incredible thing that communication is. I feel so honored that there are people out there in the world, even just a few, who really want to listen to me, because there's a lot that I want to say. You know, I've, I've tried to hint at it with these videos, but really the videos that I want to be making require marching bands and giant puppets, And but I'm saying it however I can. Hints of it here and hints of it there, there's something to do with biology, and something to do with language, and something to do with magic, and something to do with food. You know, I've, I've got my motifs, but god, it's slow going! So really, this is all an experiment. Communication isn't a thing. It's not some finished product like a book, although sometimes there's books. Communication is a process. It's an unfolding, and a growing, a looping, an interaction. There's so much I want to say, and if you look at my other videos, you'll see there's, there's a sketching of it. Not nearly complete. But that's all right. Every new video, a little bit more grows. Another leaf, another twig. And I'm really glad that you can watch it unfold with me and help it grow. So thanks. <laughs> and remember that everything and nothing are inexorably intertwined.